Hello my fellow hobbyists. Welcome to my first video project. If you want to see a different version with less restrictions, subscribe to me on one of your favorite adult platforms. The links are in the description. This week I decided to start sharing my modification of a mobile air vac two-stage collection separator system with an additional blower capacity. Because my current garage is cramped and it seems like there's more time spent cleaning the dirt, the animals drag in that has been actually working on my projects. With the exception of one part I ordered, this was an impromptu build that I put together with what I had on hand. I'd like to make a few tweaks in the future, but for the time being, this works. The main pieces of equipment I built this modification around is a rigid wet dry vac, a dust stopper on a five gallon bucket, and the attachments for the vac. The following materials and tools were used to construct the framework. Two inch and one and a half inch PVC pipe. I don't have any here, but four one and a half inch PVC caps, four one and a half inch PVC tees. I actually ended up using aluminum tape instead of the PVC tees because I didn't have any on hand. One, two inch PVC with a side shave down, one 90 degree two inch PVC, one two inch sweeping 90 PVC, one two inch PVC straight adapter, 24 inch piece of wood for the top and I would recommend around a half an inch thick, spray paint in black, flathead six by one inch screws, a total of four fasteners including washers and nuts are also required, about a foot of grit tape, sandpaper, a DeWalt DW618 router with the Milescraft Turn Lock Circle Guide Kit, a DeWalt drill with a star adapter, the appropriate size circular hole saws, 16 gallon rigid wet dry vac, the dust stopper, and that nifty five gallon bucket. With the rigid wet dry vac, the only modification I made was adding about a foot total of grip tape around this area so when you put on the pvc pipe legs down it has a bit more of a grip and stays in place then all you have to do is attach the five gallon bucket to the dust stopper you'll hear a satisfying click when it settles into position pvc pipe and attachments were used to construct the actual framework of this modification in order to make the legs i first use a two inch adapter that is three inches long and attached it to a two inch PVC pipe cut to two inches, which then I attached a two inch to one and a half inch adapter. So then I could make the legs out of one and a half inch PVC pipe that I cut to 28 inches long. Ending with a one and a half inch cap with a hole drill to put a bolt through to attach to the wood top. For the 16 inch support bar, I had to use some aluminum tape since I didn't have any one and a half inch T adapters lying around. Well, once this tape starts to give out, I'll buy some T's and fix this. When I built the PVC framework, I wanted the support bars to go over the latches here on the rigid, which makes it sit so this in the back, and your cable is here, which also makes it so when your framework is in place, the cord adapter is in the back also. The turn lock circle guide kit was used for cutting the 10 and a half inch hole in a 24 inch piece of wood that fit the five gallon bucket perfectly. To further reduce the number of things that could potentially poke me, I made the entire top circular. After that, I used a variety of hole bits to cut the right size holes for the vacuum attachments. Now that the framework is built, this is where the rigid tape comes into place, right here, and it allows me to attach the framework nice and snug. On the top, I use the six by one inch flat top screws for the cord wrap and these screws right here which don't get screwed in all the way as we use them to hold other attachments. The rigid power cord comes in through this hole right here and then wraps around right here. And if you notice, these are slanted slightly, but that is just for aesthetics. The five gallon bucket with the dust stopper 
goes right here and fits nice and snugly in that hole. As an alternative to using the supplies hose from here to the back of the rigid, I built my own using two inch PVC pipe. This is the adapter I had ordered from the internet because the two inch PVC pipe had to be shaved down on one end to fit inside the rigid. And then in order to use dust stoppers included adapter for the top, I had to use two inch PVC using this shaved piece that fits into the rigid. I added a two inch by 90, which is attached to a straight pipe cut to the correct length to fill this area between the sweeping 90 attached with a two inch straight adapter. Then the sweeping 90 attaches to the part that came with the dust stopper. I forgot to mention that there's actually another one of those shaved two inch pieces that I had ordered online in between the sweeping 90 and the part that attaches to the dust stopper. And it goes on just like that. Now you can save that rib tubing that came with the dust topper and use it for other pleasures. Plus the PVC pipe reduces turbulence with this setup. All of the necessary adapters are neatly arranged in this area like this. In addition, I made use of the Rigid's included adapter attachment. If you aren't going to be blowing air, don't forget to attach your filter. The hose attaches to the dust stopper here. Once as you're finished, simply roll up the power cable back here. And hose left and right here. Thanks for joining me on this project and stay tuned for additional videos on Korea's Waves to see how well this section's more than just dirt. I have several other modifications almost completed that I will be sharing with you once as I get them completed. I'll be posting updates of the progress of my projects on my various platforms.